Hey everybody, in this episode of Programming Algorithms I want to look at the Fibonacci number sequence. So I want to write a program to calculate Fibonacci numbers. And I'll ask the user to input what value they want. What number in the sequence that I want. Just close everything there. And now for the Fibonacci number sequence, we create two variables, first number and second number. And they both start off as one. And then we loop around, taking one away from the value input until we hit one, or, or, or until we get to two. And really the goal is here is to make sure we take one away from A so that the loop will terminate eventually. So if we want this to execute successfully. What we want is a running total that adds up first num and second num. So the first time around the loop that's going to be 1 plus 1, so total will be 2. So first num is 1, second num is 1, and total is 2. Now what we want to do is move across and make second num be total now. So make second num be 2. And we'll make first num be second num. Let's save that. Now let's print out total each time, just to see what value we're getting. And run it. So we'll put in 7. And what we see is that first num and second num aren't being printed out, but total is being printed out each time. It's 2, it's 3, it's 4. It's 2, it's 3, it's 5, it's 8, it's 13, it's 21. Um, we should probably print out, let's print out um, first num and second num as well, just so we have them. So then we have 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 13 and 21, our familiar look in terms of the Fibonacci number sequence. Um, if we wanted to just print out the first 25 values of Fibonacci, instead of saying A gets the value input from the user, all we'd have to do is say A is signed 25. We might change this to 25, Fibon 25 Fibonacci numbers. Save that and run it. And then we've got the first 25 Fibonacci numbers. So that's a, a simple introduction to Fibonacci number sequence. It is worth noting that some mathematicians start the Fibonacci number sequence with 0 and 1. So 0 and 1 are the first two values. And then those two added gives you 1, those two added gives you 2, those two added gives you 3. Others start with 1 and 1. Others even start with 1 and 2. So it, ver it depends on, on which view of it you take. But that's, as long as we get the idea that we've got two values, first and second, they start off as one and one, then first gets whatever the second value is, and the second gets the value of the sum of first and second. And you've got an accumulating total, which is adding up first and second. And that'll give you your Fibonacci number sequence. So thanks very much. we we'll see you in the next episode of Programming and Algorithms.